Greetings, invaders. My name is Scott. This is Book Invasion. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for hanging out. Today we're going to be doing a little book haul of all the books that I have obtained recently, and I have one that I am super duper excited about. So the first book I received in a gift exchange, which is Consider Phoebus by Ian M. Banks, which has about the most dullest sci-fi book cover I have seen <laughs> with clouds uh, and the ocean. Uh, but I was I was asked kind of that I like some pff, humorous sci-fi space crew kind of book, and this was recommended to me. This is Paul, or part of the Culture series by Ian Banks. I've not read any of his material, but I'm sure a lot of you probably already have and will say that I will enjoy this. So I hope to check that out soon. The next book that I purchased from the author directly is Jailbroke by Brian Asman. Um, Brian Asman is also the author of the greatest uh, Kevin Smith kaiju story called I'm Not Even Supposed to Be Here Today. Uh, I got this last year because, I mean, who doesn't want a Kevin Smith kaiju uh, kind of horror novella sitting on their shelf? If you're a Kevin Smith fan, you gotta have it. So I saw that he released uh, Jailbroke, uh, which is kind of about slackers and druggies and cyborgs, cybernetically enhanced uh, badasses, septuagenarian toddlers, and an opioid algorithm addicted bucket of bolts. A cult that worships the reincarnation of a 400 year old god genius. A heartwarming, ripping tale about what it means to be human in a galaxy run by artificial intelligence. You know, it's got all the points that I love. And so I ordered this from the author, and he drew a little, uh, he drew a little book invasion alien on it. Awesome. Thank you, Brian. All right, the next book I received was sent to me all the way from the UK by the author. This is Complete Darkness by Matt Adcock. Um, it came with a cool, like, cell-signed sheet. There are a ton of, like, artwork uh, postcards in here. This one is pretty awesome. This came out in Oct October of 2019. And it gave me a nice hardcover book. Boom, boom, boom. So this one looks awesome. The synopsis goes, In the near future, we map the elusive dark matter around us, only to find out that it is hell itself. And this is an action-packed literary shock to the senses that mixes flights of comic fantasy with bouts of brutal violence. Booyah! Like an adrenaline shot into your mind. <laughs> um, so this sounds really interesting and intriguing. I love the hardcover. Um, it's nice and freshly pressed. Thank you for sending me a copy of this. This book looks awesome. I'm excited to get into this. Uh, I will let you know my thoughts when I do read it in a review video. Next book that I had received also from the gift exchange was The Fisherman by John Langan. And I don't know a lot about this book other than it's kind of a cool cosmic horror story that John Langan writes. It's been floated around a lot of times as kind of the one to pick for kind of cool sci-fi cosmic horror. So I'm glad to have this copy and I will read it and I'm sure I will enjoy it. Uh, it's fairly short, under 300 pages. So I will devour that one shortly. So the next book I received is an upcoming release or maybe it's already out depending on when I post the video. This is Screams from the Void by Ann Tibbetts. Uh, this is released by Flame Tree Press. Um, the author sent me a copy because she said on Twitter that if anybody films themselves being attacked by an alien looking plant uh, and post a video of it, she will send me a signed copy. And so I went out in my backyard and I attacked a plant with the garden shovel. And she has a designed uh, book plate and an awesome bookmark. So this book is talks about a crew trapped on a spaceship with a foreign biological creature who's kind of ripping the crew apart, how they survive, but also there's a murderous uh, ex on board who kind of gets a little crazy and power hungry amidst the chaos and how they, they also have to kind of survive the attack from within, as well as the attack from this creature on this spaceship. So the synopsis goes two years deep in space. So the synopsis goes two years in deep space aboard the freighter Demeter has been a lesson in endurance for the small crew. Uh, mechanic Ensign Rayner is ready to jump ship because her abusive ex is also aboard. Technical Sergeant Pollux is sick to death of her shipmates and can't wait to get reassigned. But a foreign biological creature has sneaked onto the Demeter it has begun to wreak havoc on the ship and everyone on it. And the two women are about to come to, into their own. With the ship quarantine, it's up to the crew to save themselves, and Rena and Pollux will have to rise to the challenge. They will soon discover that there are both a monster and a murderer after them, 
There's no way they're going to survive this alone. So that a screams from the void it has a very alienish uh, vibe to it. But also with the crew trying to murder each other. So it sounds awesome. Anyway. And the last and final book that I just received in the mail today is my most anticipated, even though I didn't film it because I didn't know it was coming out. Uh, this is uh, Feral Creatures. Feral Creatures by Kira Jane Buxton. This is the sequel, kind of the follow-up to Hollow Kingdom, following the tales of the foul-mouthed American domesticated crow named S.T. and his adventures in the wilderness and the post-apocalyptic or post-human world. <laughs> so here's the synopsis. When the world last checked in with its favorite Cheeto addicts, the planet had been overrun by flesh-hungry beasts, and nature had started reclaiming her territory from humankind. At ST, the intrepid crow, alongside his bloodhound bestie Dennis, had set out saving pets that had become trapped in their homes after humanity went the way of the dodo. That is, dear reader, until ST stumbled upon something so rare and so precious that he vowed to do everything in his power to safeguard what could quite literally be humanity's last hope for survival. But in a wild world plagued by pre prejudiced animals, feather-raising environments, new threats so terrifying that they make zombies look like baby bunnies, and a horrendous death of cheesy snacks, what's a crow to do? Why, wing it on another big-hearted, death-defying adventure. That's what. Joined by a fab fabulous new crew of animal characters, ST faces many new challenges, plus his biggest one yet, parenthood. Ha 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 That sounds awesome. So if you haven't read Hollow Kingdom, it was one of my favorite books that released in uh, 2019. Um, I think it just came out in paperback. Um, definitely check it out, please. It sounds weird and it sounds bizarre. People are like, eh, you know, not for me. Just go read it. Just do it. Just read it. Um, and you'll love it. You'll fall in love with the characters. Feral Creatures is the follow-up. I'm really excited to get to this. Thank you so much to Kira Jane Buxton for sending me a copy of, uh, for sending me an arc of this with a little inscription. Wishing you a happy reading and all the very best book invasions. <laughs> and it has ST saying, Scott is an awesome mofo. But please check this book out. Just just check out the series. I'll tell you this much. If you've watched the video to this point and you're not sure, but you do kind of want to check out Hollow Kingdom, I'll gift you an audio copy of the book. Just comment down below saying, hey, I want to read this. Tell me why. And uh, maybe I'll do, if there's multiple people, I'll do a drawing on Twitter or something like that. Um, and I'll send you an audible uh, code for Hollow Kingdom. Let me know if you want a copy. Please check it out. I'm eager to get to people who love the series and love these characters. It's awesome. It's amazing. Thank you. Thanks for watching, everybody. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.